where medical expenses directly cause somewhere between 40 and 60 percent of personal bankruptcies in the U.S. And many people are only one medical crisis away from financial ruin. But with, even without a crisis, the cost of health care is a leading concern, especially for older individuals. Dr. McGeorge is here tonight as new national polls reveal the severity of this problem, Doc. Yeah, Karen and Amon, you know, in the ER, it's obvious to me, anyone can develop an expensive medical problem at any time, but it is far more common as we get older. And the fact is, increasing medical expenses are, for the most part, the cost of getting older. The problem is, those prices can be outrageous, leading a majority of older people to be concerned about them. What we find is people are making trade-offs between the costs of their medicines or their medical appointments and their food or housing or transportation. We also find that sometimes people cut back on the services that they need in their health care. They may take their medicines less frequently, not fill their prescriptions for high blood pressure or diabetes. They may hold back on seeing the doctor when they have a new symptom that's concerning and their doctor either might be able to help them identify the problem or reassure them that it's not serious. According to Dr. John Ionian, director of the Institute for Healthcare Policy at the University of Michigan, while Medicare provides relatively good coverage, some are still at more risk. There are some uh, patients who have only traditional Medicare without any form of supplemental insurance. That typically covers only about 80% of their health care costs, and so they'd be responsible for covering the other 20%. So that, that's the group that would be most vulnerable over age 65 if they are facing significant health care costs. For additional resources, Dr. Ayanian recommends... For adults over 65, you can consult with your local senior center or your area agency on aging, which are th those organizations are present in most areas of the country. Now, in addition to the cost of health care and other related concerns seniors had was the increase in financial scams and fraud attempts. Now, some of these were related to health care, but others weren't. Regardless, falling prey to a scam can trigger anxiety or depression, leading to mental health and in some cases, even physical ailments. Yeah. Now, I know the poll dissects all these different parts. Is there a specific area that we also need to be aware of in terms of medical costs? Well, yeah, actually. So, you know, the cost of long term health care and assisted living were very important. There was also a degree of concern about the quality of health care as well as access to healthy food and finances in general which frankly isn't unexpected given that there are high rates of poverty in people over 65 in fact the national council on aging found one in three people over 65 are considered economically insecure yeah and that could be one of the reasons why we see so many community clinics popping yeah. up all over the area exactly. especially in those vulnerable communities it is a critical problem and now you mentioned the supplemental insurance that it helps but even having to pay that extra. I know my mom struggles so much and we had to dive into savings and there's exactly. just no way to afford it. Exactly. The affordability is definitely yeah. such a huge issue with seniors these days. Thank yeah. you, Doc. Thanks, Doc. Sure.